So if you all thought that we were done talking about Diddy, well, you better grab a seat because we are nowhere near close to being done. Every time we think that we found out the worst about Diddy, the internet says psych, and he gets exposed for even more sinner stuff. And in case you all missed the tea, the feds just dropped some hard evidence that solidly links him to Tupac's murder. There's a lot of hard evidence here, and it looks like Diddy is about to go down hard for a long time. But to nobody's surprise, 50 Cent has been clowning Diddy since the feds made the announcements, and he just announced that the feds are bringing RICO charges against Diddy any day. Now it looks like Diddy is over and done for real this time because you all know the feds do not play around. So why did Diddy place a $1 million bounty on Tupac, and was Tupac about to expose Diddy for being gay? Let's talk about it. Now everybody and their mama knows that Diddy and 50 Cent have had beef for ages, and most folks have forgotten why it even started, but it's clear these two can't stand each other. But 50 Cent constantly throwing shade at Diddy, and usually 50 sticks to accusing Diddy of being gay, and on the down low, even accusing Diddy of trying to turn younger male rappers gay. This time though, 50 Sin is cranking it up a notch. He's gone from exposing Diddy's alleged shady behavior, to accusing him of something way more serious, putting a hit out on Tupac, which supposedly led to Tupac's 1996 murder. Just when we thought that Tupac's murder would never be solved, the police made a shocking announcement. They had a person of interest in custody after 27 years of the case going cold. We were all in shock to learn that the suspect is done other than Dwayne Keefe D. Davis. This revelation was wild because it felt like the culprit had been hiding in plain sight all these years. Technically, the police always had their suspicions about QPD and his involvement because he was questioned back in 1996 when the murder happened. And at the time, KPD was a gangster in Compton who quickly climbed the ranks to become a shock caller. But despite his admission that he was in the passenger seat of the Cadillac used in the drive-by shooting, the police could never pin the murder on him until now. GVD also ran a drug operation on the side. But when that fell apart, he decided to get himself some clout in the media attention by openly discussing Tupac's murder and his involvement in it. He disclosed that on the night of the murder, Tupac and his entourage had beaten up his cousin, Orlando Baby Lane Anderson, at the MGM Grand Lobby. Now, this part of the story has been proven to be true because it was captured by the lobby surveillance cameras. Here's the teeth. Baby Lane had allegedly tried to steal Trayvon Lane's death row records chain, and rumor has it that Diddy wanted to flaunt the chain in one of his music videos as a diss to Sue Knight and Tupac. When Trayvon spotted Baby Lane in the MGM Grand Lobby, all hell broke loose, and Baby Lane got jumped. Now, let's get back to Keith D. Though he's done a ton of interviews about Tupac's murder, and in one of them, he spilled that he was indeed in the car when Tupac was shot. But when asked who pulled the trigger, he played coy saying that he couldn't drop any names. The word on the streets is that it had more to do with the $1 million bounty Diddy allegedly put on Tupac's head. Now, you might be wondering, why would Diddy do that? Well, it's because he and Tupac were in a heated rap fay at the time. See, Tupac was signed to Sue Knight's Death Row Records, while Diddy owned Bad Boy Records, and had Biggie Smalls on his roster. Now, we all know about the epic rivalry between Biggie and Tupac, but Diddy had his own beef with Suge Knight, it was messy word on the streets, is that Diddy put a $1 million bouncy on Tupac's head to get back at him for jumping Baby Lane. Back then, they actually pulled up, and people got hurt a lot. Thankfully, we've mostly moved past that. But anyway, some folks say that Didi didn't really put the million dollar bounty on Tupac's head. He was just trying to stir the pot and create some drama. But according to these sources, it was just a case of hot tempers and a messy feud spiraling out of control. And Keith D hinted that in his interviews trying to downplay Didi's involvement. But plenty of folks aren't buying it and think Keith D was just trying to downplay Didi's involvement because he knew if Didi got busted, he would too. So Keith D is being charged with Tupac's murder. Even though he might not have pulled the trigger, it's wild that he really could have gotten away with it if he would have just shut up and kept his mouth closed and hadn't spilled the tea every time a camera was on him. And according to Las Vegas Homicide Lieutenant Jason Johansson, Dwayne Davis was the shock caller for this group of individuals that committed this crime. And he orchestrated the plan that was carried out. But this story gets more interesting because not only can't Keith PD stop talking about Tupac, but it turns out that he is Loki obsessed about him and his death. According to Yahoo News, the search of Davis's home resulted in the seizure of hard drives, tablets, laptops, and documents related to television shows, documentaries, YouTube episodes, book manuscripts, and movies concerning the of Tupac Shakur. 
Among the items confiscated were a copy of Vibe magazine featuring the late rapper in a book titled Compton Street. Legend co-authored by Davis sources revealed that the police started zeroing and on KPD after his appearance in the Netflix documentary series Unsolved. On top of that, he published a book called Compton Street Legend, where he hinted that he was in the car with the shooter who unallied Tupac. Now, like I said, he could have literally gotten away with murder since the police had cleared him initially. But as they say, clout is a drug, and that's what eventually got him in trouble. Now, you might be wondering what all this has to do with Diddy. Well, Keith P.D. was City's associate when the shooting happened. And remember, Diddy was accused of putting a $1 million bounty on Tupac on the night of the murder, after which one of his own associates ended up Yuan Lai in Tupac. And like I mentioned, battle laws allows people connected to the crime to be charged for it. So if the police manage to find some solid evidence that Diddy was involved, he's going down too. But to make things juicier, there are rumors that the police might be offering Kai P.D. a plea deal. The snitch on whoever ordered the hit, one of Kai D's own associates, has stepped up to corroborate the story confirming that Diddy did indeed slap down that cool $1 million bounty. The soon after it was announced that Diddy got invited by the police for a little chat about Tupac's murder. And of course Diddy lawyered up right away, which was a smart move. After a few hours, he was released. But we have no clue what went down during that interrogation. We thought the case had died there. Court documents that were filed by prosecutors a couple of days ago revealed that QPD was a confidential police informant who even tried to set up an undercover deal in a bid to implicate hip-hop mogul Diddy, and the rapper's court filings alleged he worked undercover with LAPD detectives from a task force initially set up to investigate the Biggie Smalls after volunteering information about his role in Potts bullshit. But he didn't stop there because he also took the Instagram, where he posted the last known picture of Tupac, and said, so Tupac got lined up by Brother Love. So I'm a lawyer up. Things might get sticky. You all 50 cents days exposing Diddy. And this time was no different. Eminem also entered it at his song Kill Shot, where he said, but kills the day. You put out a hits the day that Diddy admits that he put the hit out that got Pop killed. And you all know that Eminem does not mess around, but fans have had a whole lot to say about this, and they believe in common in saying, I'm not saying Diddy got Tupac killed, but I'm not saying he didn't get him killed either. Being outed at that time in the rap community would likely affect his career and reputation really badly. 50 Cent is never at a loss for words, absolutely outspoken, and has no filter whatsoever. And I believe Diddy did it ever since Eminem said it on shot. Do you guys really think that Diddy put a head out on Tupac? Or do you think that 50 Cent is just trolling as it usually does? Drop your thoughts and comments below, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.